The following announcement has been paid for by the NCO. You're pretty good, but you're no Connor Oberst. As if I had time to do a team builder. I do not. Uh, this week, Titar. This week, Excadrill, Crobat, Cloyster, Gudra, Celebi against another team. Um, now, I am have choice banded Excadrill, which is actually really fun. Um, I'm going to lead off with the... Now, I don't expect um, a fighting move here. I expect to trade rocks, maybe. So I'm going to set up rocks. That's what I'm going to do. He might have different plans. My plans are to set up rocks. Rocks are great. So I set up rocks. That's pretty good. And he's just going to go for low kick. And I did not have Chopple. Chopple was almost a thing on there, but I was like, nah. Yeah, I, I was like, no, I don't fear any of his fighting moves. I'm, well, I'm an idiot. Now, I break the mold, which means screw his ability. I have a choice band of Earthquake. It's a two-hit KO because uh, he's insanely good. Um, I take some damage from the low kick, and I'm just going to Earthquake again. And take care of that thing. And I'm done with Mega Aggron, which was pretty good. I didn't think he would sack it off so easily. Now he goes into the Crab. Which is a huge problem for me. It's actually the only thing on a scene that I was super worried about. Now, <sighs> so I go into Gudra, which is a physically defensive Gudra. It takes a knockoff. Um, less than half. How about that shit? Huh? How do you like that? But then sand. And I was like, oh, no. We, I didn't consider sand damage when I was building this Gudra. It's bad. It's bad times. Ugh. Now, he goes into... Um, Snorlax, and I have superpower on this guy, but I thought that maybe he would go into his fairy. And, but I got his defense to fall, which is pretty good, and now I'm faster for sure. I get the superpower off, and he has the Chopple Berry, and he's able to take the superpower. I'm like, dang it. Dang it all to hell. Dang. He gets the body slam off, and Gudra's dead. But I gooey him. I gooey two things. Go yeah, gooey. <sighs> Big Papa Pump comes in. He's choice banded. He's not afraid to earthquake whatever because he's got mold breaker. So you are taking an earthquake no matter what skis. Now he kills this thing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, he brings in Jolteon. And I'm like, yo, you got like HP water or you got a you got an HP that I don't want to deal with right now. So I go into Celebi. And for sure, for sure, Jolteon has Signal Beam. For sure. But I am a Choice Scarf Celebi, so I'm like, I'm not worried about it. I go for U-Turn. Hell yeah, that's what that's what I do. I do a ton of damage. Like a ton. Like a metric ton. Go into Crobat, who will speed tie. Take this Signal Beam or that HP that uh, I will also resist again. Now he's taking more damage. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, do you want to play this, the speed tie game? Because I do. And he does also, and he wins, so... Whoops. <laughs> um, I mean, I could have shuffled around, gotten the extra drill drunk, gone back into Celebi, did the U-turn thing again. It was a little bit risky. Celebi, I think, is very important here. Um, he goes into the crab. I go into Celebi. Now I can U-turn. Boom. Take this damage, boy. Does not quite kill. It's a bulky Scarf Celebi. Doesn't have a whole lot of attack invested. It turns out in this game that would have been the play. Now, he goes for knockoff here. I go for Cloyster because I know Cloyster can take it. And I know it can take two. And I know it can take another thingy. Now, he switches out. But I got rocks up, baby. He goes into Clefable. And I see he's getting rocks damage. I'm going to go Icicle Spear. What? I'm not boosting. I'm not boosting. I'm another Choice Scarf Cloyster. Because Choice Scarf Cloyster is the shit. I go in, I do more than half, and he gets some leftovers, but I'm like, another one kills? Let's do this, let's kill this stupid pink thing. So I do it, spear it, I crit, I'm gonna crit it. I crit it, I hit it, and then I win it. That's right, hit four times, four times. Now he goes on to Jolteon, not too scared about Jolteon. Cloyster, as of right now, has kind of done his stuff. He goes for Signal Beam, um, and gets the KO. Now, I know he's got Heracross in the back, he's got Jolteon, and he's got um, his other boy. So I'm gonna go into Celebi, and he's gonna he's gonna switch. He's gonna switch out. He's gonna go into 
Heracross. Which was... Oh, thank you so much. Uh, Zen Headbutt actually didn't kill... I was I was 100% sure it would, but I was 100% wrong, Skis. Um, so two Zen Headbutts take care of it. If he just didn't switch out, he could have won the game. Because if I went U-turn there, then I would have been fine. But guess what? Titar from the dead, gets two kills for how the PPL works. His rocks are up. He gets the last two kills post-mortem KO by no baby. MVP, T-Tar, two, dies turn one, gets the last two kills of the game. Are you serious? Are you kidding right now? Do you understand what I'm saying to you right now? No? You don't, because... Are you going to stop Tyrantar from getting kills, even if you kill at turn one? Nah. <laughs>